we all want to dress like our favourite celebrities, but you know, their expensive designer clothes, we can't afford them. So we're here today to try to show you how to get the same looks for less. And we're here at Editor's Market today to go shopping. One of my favourite style icons is Miranda Carr because she's always very effortlessly chic. You know, she's uh, dubbed the street style queen. So one of my favourite looks is her wearing this like, you know, denim shirt with grey skirt and a leather jacket with her baby Flynn at the side. We have two different types of sleeveless denim shirts and uh, I'm going to choose a short sleeve one as opposed to like a long sleeve denim shirt because you know in Singapore the weather is so hot. I think I'd rather go for this because it looks like a bit lighter and the pattern stands out more. As for her skirt, I couldn't find an exact like grey mini skirt so I found like two grey bottoms. One is a short and uh, one is like a long pants. And for her jacket, I found a really nice quilted leather jacket. My style icon is Chili Park from Park and Cube and I really love her because she's Asian and conservative which is nice as in she doesn't show too much skin. Her first look is pants, bomber jacket and black top so mm -hmm. to show you how to maximise the value of your dollar I'm going to go with the same jacket that Drea used just now. So it's a quilted leather jacket which is really unique because most leather jackets are you know like smooth and it can go with any plain black top inside, anyone's fine and I'm going to Match it with this pair of pants. An interesting thing you might want to know about Editor's Market is that all their clothes are free sized. So don't fret, the jacket fits both Dre and me, as does the top and the other stuff that you see around the store. Another thing that Shinji Park always wears is long dresses with jackets. I found two maxi dresses here. One is this. A uh, grey one by Cheap Monday. But it's $149, so I think we'll give it a skip because the whole point is to get to look for less. Another one is this much more uh, pleated and white dress, which I think we're going to go with. And um, she always has them with jackets, so I'm going for a light coloured jacket for a bit of a change this time. Um, there is this one. It's a tweed blazer, which I love, but it's a little bit scratchy, so I'm going to go with this one, which is a very interesting take on the conventional leather jacket because Firstly, it's cream, and secondly, there are all these studs on it. And the thing about going for a leather jacket as opposed to a tweed jacket is that you can always mix and match the leather jacket with a lot of other outfits. Yes, it's much more versatile than a tweed jacket. Mm -hmm. My next favourite style icon is Jessica Alba. So one of the Jessica Alba looks I've chosen today was her, you know, uh, with a black blazer, a black inner, and a printed pants. So prints are really in, and I like how she matched like a really bold print with like simple tops so that the prints stand out a bit more. I found three different tops. The top that I think is closest to Alba's look would be this top because it has like a more slouchy, more relaxed look. Besides, since you're already going to put a blazer over it, you want something thinner. So Jessica Alba is wearing a black and white printed pants and look, at this market has so many. Um, I think the print that goes with my style would be perhaps this one. It's a bit of an Aztec print coupled with like stripes. The last part of Jessica Alba's look is her blazer, which we have over here. The thing about this is that it's very light and it's not structured. Um, it, it's a good and bad thing because sometimes you know you need structured blazers for work or for, like for more formal events. And Jessica Alba wore a really you know slouchy, very relaxed blazer, which didn't end here. It was actually quite long, so I think this blazer fits the bill. Another one of my star icons whom you actually already know is Rumi Neely because I just won't shut up about her. She's someone who goes for very clean cut looks. They are always white, black and neutral sand shades. A look I really like from Rumi Neely is this white chiffon dress plus black blazer. She has many many variations of the same kind of combination. So okay, I picked out something that's pretty similar. Okay, it's this long, it looks long, but actually this one is a detachable, not detachable, but like a flapping piece and you can sort of tuck it in to make a bubble shorter dress. Yep, and I will pair it with the black blazer that Jia used earlier. So, as you can see, it will look like this. Yeah, 
And the great thing about Editor's Market is that they bring the same design in multiple colours. So they have a black version of this dress as well. And you know, you can do a reverse uh, colour combination and you can pair it with a white blazer instead. One of our favourite style icons is... Blake Lively, or also known as Serena Van Der Woodson from Gossip Girl. Or Mrs. Ryan Reynolds. Oh yeah. Anyway, one of the looks that I like from Blake Lively is this floral olive top. And uh, she paired it with a mini skirt with lots of like ruffles as well. So far, I found two floral tops, but they're not exactly the kind that she was wearing. Because they're on the bright side, she's wearing more of an olive colour. So let's try and find something else that's similar. Actually, I really like Blake Lively because you know she doesn't have a stylist. Mm -hmm. She dresses she her, No, she doesn't. Oh. She dresses herself. Right? She does. I have to Google that later. But yeah. We found a green olive top. And uh, it's a bit plain because in the picture, she wore like a very uh, florally patterned uh, olive top. But I think I would prefer to stick to the same colour like she did. And uh, I think I prefer a more... Um, plainer looking top as opposed to this. Yeah, because well, you can always accessorise. Yeah. Mm -hmm, you can always accessorise and I think um, Singaporeans are more conservative in their dressing so I think if you're going to pair like a flowery top with like a ruffly skirt, people are just going to be like, what's she wearing? I think this is safer. I found two skirts that were as dramatic as what Blake Lively wore. One is this sequiny one and another one is um, this really poofy, flowy one with tulle. Um, this one, I think, stays true to what Big Lively wore. You know, it even has like all these like embellishments. Okay, so we've come to the end of the episode. And one last tip that we're going to leave you with about the editor's market is that it gets cheaper the more you buy. So one piece is like X amount. Three piece, it gets even cheaper. And by the time you hit 15, you're practically at half price. Yeah, and the great thing is that you don't have to buy just clothes. You can mix it up with like shoes, bags and accessories. But this market is a great place to go if you want to shop with friends. Or even if you want to just hijack strangers and their purchases. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Let us know what you want to see in future episodes. Leave a comment in the box below and we'll see you next time. Bye!